Hey, good afternoon. This is Kevin Gilmore with the National Weather Service New Orleans Baton Rouge office located in Slida, Louisiana. This is your weekly weather briefing for Halloween Day, Thursday, October 31st, 2024. We're going to start things off with the situation overview like we always do here, talking about we got some scattered showers and a few storms uh, across the area. Uh, we'll continue to see this coverage continue, mainly for western areas. When we say western areas, it's like along and west of I-55, including like the greater Baton Rouge area through the rest of the afternoon, evening, and overnight. But we'll break that down a little bit more specific here coming up in the next few slides. Uh, if you're looking ahead at the weekend, it's looking mainly dry uh, and pretty nice. You can't rule out maybe some isolated showers or drizzle, but generally speaking, you're not expecting much in the way of impacts. Um, but then we're going to warm back up yet again, near record warmth uh, next week. Talk about highs in the upper 80s, maybe getting close to 90 in a few locations. And then we may see some rain chances increasing yet again towards mid to late week. And then we're going to talk about the tropics here coming up in just a quick moment. So starting things off of what we're seeing this afternoon, we got more widespread showers and thunderstorms to our west across southwest Louisiana. We're going to see this kind of creep our way towards the western portions of the area that later this afternoon and evening. Uh, so if you have any type of uh, Halloween plans, trick or treating, it's probably a good idea to uh, have that umbrella with you, uh, especially for areas for Baton Rouge, Macomb, Homa, uh, New Roads, those locations. I may have some off and on showers, which could persist even beyond sunset in some areas. Otherwise, towards the east, we're seeing just light showers generally. Uh, at times, maybe some moderate rain, but really nothing too impactful. And it'll be pretty much staying that way through the rest of the evening. So talking about the uh, the afternoon forecast from 4 to 7 o'clock, showing you, like I just mentioned, the greater rain chances for western areas, for Baton Rouge and Macomb, a uh, little bit less as we get towards New Orleans, Covington, and the coastal Mississippi areas, where we'll generally be just seeing some isolated showers with temperatures the low 80s to upper 70s. Getting in towards a little bit toward, uh, in the middle of the night, or 7 to 10 o'clock in the middle of uh, trick-or-treating time, that is, uh, rain chances back down some, but still remains in that 50 to 60 percent range for the northwestern areas. So uh, something to kind of keep in mind for your plans you have later this afternoon and evening. That showers will be around and continuing through portions of the night with temperatures in the low to mid 70s. And then beyond for uh, later in the night, 10 o'clock towards 1 a.m., we're talking about still seeing some isolated showers, maybe some scattered showers from northern areas. Uh, but again, nothing too impactful, no severe weather or flash flooding uh, or impactful weather like that is expected all through the rest of the afternoon, evening and overnight hours. And we may see some patchy light fog in some areas around daybreak Friday, especially areas that saw rain that saturated the soils. Uh, kind of that light ground uh, hazy fog could be possible. Nothing too impactful as we're not expecting any type of dense fog concerns, but something to keep an eye out for if you plan on traveling early in the morning. Just, you know, keep an eye out for it. Uh, plan accordingly. Slow down if you do encounter any type of fog. With all conditions, we'll be improving as we get through mid-morning on Friday. And speaking of Friday, with the forecast to the morning forecast to the left and afternoon forecast to the right, we see that we'll continue to have some scattered showers around in the morning, but we'll kind of see the same rinse and repeat type situation on Friday afternoon with better chances on the uh, for western areas, uh, where we could have, have some uh, showers and maybe some thunderstorms, some of which could be heavy, dumping some heavy rainfall, and maybe have some lightning. But again, no significant or uh, impactful weather, severe weather or flash flooding expected. Uh, just greater chances of rain towards those western areas with less towards the east. And if you're interested in the forecast total rainfall we'll be seeing uh, today through tomorrow, like we said, with the greater rain chances to the west is where we'll see the greater chance for uh, rainfall totals, generally speaking around an area average of a half an inch to around an inch for around the Baton Rouge area, for western areas, uh, or along west of I-55. We could see greater amounts uh, higher than one inch in some locations, uh, generally due to the fact of the scattered nature of the coverage. Uh, but then towards the uh, central and eastern areas is where we'll see around a tenth to a quarter inch with isolated higher amounts. And we see to the right there is a probability of greater than one inch of total precipitation. We see those higher colors, those higher values are getting up towards northwestern areas where we have a greater chance of seeing around an inch, if not a little bit greater as we get towards the next uh, day or two. Now, looking ahead, if you're interested in the weekend and even getting into the next week, temperatures, like we mentioned before, will be increasing. And uh, according to climatology, some of these temperatures you see here for especially Sunday and Monday uh, for Baton Rouge and even New Orleans is getting right at, if not tying or possibly surpassing record highs. 
uh, for this time of the year. So uh, near record warmth expected to return yet again. And then backs down some as we get towards midweek as rain chances increase as we'll watch the next frontal system come through here. Now, there's a lot of questions if this front will actually pass through or stall. Regardless, we'll bring some rain to the area. We'll just have to keep an eye out for if that front can pass through, if it'll deliver cooler air as we get towards late week. But again, just something to kind of keep an eye out for. And here's your latest tropical weather outlook from the National Hurricane Center. It's actually still hurricane season. We got a month left of it. Uh, we're going to have to watch for the potential of development in the Central and Western Caribbean with a 60% chance of development over the next seven days. Again, we're far out from uh, seeing any type of uh, organized system right now. Uh, so we'll have to just kind of keep an eye out for it, just something to monitor here for the next several days. Uh, we'll, be a, uh, we'll make sure to pass along the latest information to you as we see it, but uh, just have to kind of keep an eye out for the, uh, that area for the next several days. And the drought monitor, uh, this was actually issued today, the latest update, which is updated uh, generally weekly, showing you that the conditions have gotten a little bit worse compared to last week, showing you the greater or worser drought conditions up towards the north, north and northwestern areas, with also towards coastal Mississippi, uh, where we're seeing these continued drought conditions. We'll see with this rain uh, in the next few days, it's not going to be a drought buster at all, but will help a little bit in the right direction. So hopefully we'll continue to get more progressive systems over the next few weeks, which will deliver these uh, uh, bouts of rain, which will help with these conditions here in the next few weeks. In summary, like we just mentioned, uh, if you're trick-or-treating or have any type of Halloween uh, uh, plans later tonight, uh, bring an umbrella just to be safe. Uh, we'll have some scattered showers and storms around, uh, even lasting into portions of the night. Become a less widespread through the night, but still may have some showers around. we got a nice weekend ahead. Uh, may, you can't roll out an isolated shower, and then we're warming right back up as we get towards the uh, middle part of next week. Highs getting uh, in the upper 80s, even getting close to 90 in some, region, or some areas. And then, of course, keep an eye on the tropics. We'll be sure to pass along the latest info to you. That's all I got for this briefing. I hope you have a safe and great Halloween and a great weekend ahead. Take care.